My name is Tim Bennix, and this is a Turbo Tutorial. And so in this tutorial, we will have a look at the simplest form of a responsive image. And this is mainly done for performance um, ideas. So this is not a responsive image in the terms of a picture tag that does like all the fancy stuff for this ratio. I will show you a cropped in face and then for another screen size, I will show you the whole model stuff like that. This is not about that. This is about like the simplest form of putting an image on a page that is hyper performance. So on a small screen, show a different image than on a bigger one. And so let's go into my VS code here and show you what we're dealing with. So. I have three images here. So I have a friend's image, small, medium, and large. And the idea is with an image tag with a source set is that that image always remains the same image, just the size is different, but the ratio stays the same. So I have a small, medium, and large. And we're always working from small to large, responsive, like mobile first, that's the approach. And so in the source set, what you basically do is say for the width of 500, take this image. For the width of 800, take this image. And for the width of 1369, because why not that number, take the large image. And so the source set is literally a little database to the browser that says, these are the options you get to choose from when you render this image, right? And so next to the source set, we also have the sizes property, because what you can do with the sizes property is you can say, if a certain media query hits, the image is going to be 50% of the page. And when another media query hits, it's going to be 100% width of the page. And based on that, the browser has to change its mind. Like, because if I'm 50% of the screen, let me just grab a smaller image because that fits. But then there's also other things that influence this because this is a MacBook. It has a huge retina screen. So it will the browser will likely choose higher resolution images first because it looks better. Same for on your phone. So there's, there's a few things that play that make the browser choose. So if your source set, the larger your source set is with the more options you give it, the smarter the browser can choose what image to render. So. Let's have a look at the browser. So now you can see this is this, like I made it super small, right? So it's going to load that small image. And I disabled the cache now. So you, you can see that when I now scroll up, you see that at around 300, it already chose the medium one because I have a retina screen. So it wants a bigger one sooner because there's just more pixels here. And then at one point, um, it's going to grab the large one. And then it stays the large one because I didn't give it more options. If I now don't have cache and I refresh, it actually keeps showing me the large one because it already loaded it. So why not? Browsers are really smart nowadays. So I'm going to disable the cache again and go back to the beginning. Because now let's add another property to this sizes attribute, right? So let's say until 800 pixels so from zero to 800, this image is going to be 50% of my screen size right, 50 VW, 50 units off the screen. And then if it doesn't match that, it's gonna be 100%. So because of that, it's gonna load smaller images more often, right? Because it's only 50% of the screen. So let's refresh this. Oh, before I do that, um, I have to remove this width of 100% because otherwise it's always gonna be 100% of my screen. I just added that to show you responsiveness fun stuff. So let's refresh and you'll see it's now much smaller, right? Because it's actually, this seems to be more than 50%. I don't know what's happening there, but that's what the browser is doing. There you go. Now it's actually 50. Interesting. Images are hard. Let's, let's be honest. It's strange behavior sometimes. So basically when it's bigger than 800, 100 VW shows you everything. When I go below the 800, it goes to 50%. So it is allow, it's able to actually fetch a smaller image to do that. Right, and so that way you can kind of influence the browser when you kind of know in this context my image is that size and my that context my image is that size, tell the browser, right? It doesn't always know. And um, other than this stuff, always add an alt tag and consider loading equals lazy or loading equals eager. That's it. Um, that's it for simple images. Um, there will be more tutorials on more complex scenarios and there you go. Uh, cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.